Hey, this is Steli FD with Close.io. Today, what I want to talk about is how to do effective A-B testing for your cold emails, especially in the early days when I'm advising you not to send thousands and thousands of emails to begin with. So I was just giving a webinar today and I was teaching people how to think about sequentially doing cold emails in small, very, very high quality batches versus in massive kind of uh, spammy uh, uh, ways. So instead of sending 10,000 e cold emails a day, you might just wanna send 50 cold emails every single day, but make sure that the people that you send that email are really targeted, a really targeted audience, your message is really high quality, and you do it consistently every single day, you track the results, you improve, make adjustments, and growing, really create a workflow that works. One of the participants in the webinar asked me, hey Steli, well, that's awesome, if I do very small volume, 30, 40, 50 emails every single day, how long does it take me to do statistical significant A-B testing? Like, how do I do that? How do I know when to change something or if something works or doesn't work? And here's my honest opinion. Here's a hack on this because let's put aside statistical significant and, and, and realize that sometimes in a startup life, you want to start A-B testing as early as possible and you will lack you know, the data sometimes to make perfect decisions. Actually, most of the time you're gonna lack the perfect data to make perfect decisions. So you're gonna have to go somewhat by gut and somewhat by the data you have and work with what you have. You have to be super practical and, and realize that, you know, startup business is a messy business and you won't have the perfect amount of data to make perfectly safe decisions. Having said that and putting that aside, here's a philosophy, an approach, a workflow that I want you to test that still is going to allow you to use very low volume cold emails, but still is going to allow you to improve on those emails and get really good data. So of course, if you send 50, 100 or 200 emails with a specific subject line, specific body to a specific audience, and you get a certain number of open and response rates, that may or may not be statistical significant because 100 or 200 might not be enough, but it's still a signal, still kind of gives you, points you to a direction of, you know, this may be working or this may not work out. But a way to really accelerate and hack the process, not have to wait till you've sent, you know, whatever it is, 10,000 emails, what you do is you pick up the damn phone and you call these people. And this time when you call them, both the people that opened and responded to your message, as well as the people that opened and didn't respond, as well as the people that didn't even bother to open your cold email. Every, all these three groups, you're gonna segment out and you're gonna call, cold call. And your goal on that cold call is not going to be to sell them. Your goal on that cold call is going to be to gather more data. So what you're gonna do for people that opened your email and responded and said yes in some positive way is when you talk to them, you ask them, hey, before we jump into the matter of the conversation, let me ask you, you I'm sure you get hundreds of cold emails every day. I'm curious, why did my cold email reach you? What piqued your interest? Why did you decide to respond to it? What did you like about it? And then, you know, open your ears, pay attention to what they say and ask that to multiple people and see if you hear reoccurring patterns. You do the same thing with people that open your message but don't respond or open it and respond in a negative way and you call them and you ask, hey, I want to be respectful of your time. I know, you know, I sent you a cold email this morning or yesterday, you opened it, you never replied, you probably don't reply to most cold emails and I wouldn't either. This calls purpose in a sentence is not to sell you. I just, from one professional to another, from one founder to another, from one salesperson to another, whatever it is, can I just ask you, what sucked about it? Like, what was wrong with it? Why didn't you like it? I know that what we have is really valuable. Why wasn't I successful in conveying that? Can you just, in a sentence or two, give me some feedback? I would so highly appreciate it. See what they're gonna tell you, and I guarantee you there's gonna be some magical moments if you come with that vulnerability and authenticity and transparency into the conversation. Some people will tell you to fuck off, but others will just take a moment and go, you know what, nah, this sucked, or I don't think we'd like it because X, Y, and Z. And then pay attention again, listen. Don't defend, don't try to sell them, just listen, try to learn, and see once you had multiple conversations if there are patterns, if people say the same thing again and again and again. And you can do the same thing with people who never even bothered opening your email, right? Reach out to them and try to learn. 
it's the quickest way to hack. You know, you might need 10,000 of, you know, thousands of people to click or not click, respond or not respond, to have enough data to make significant and statistical, uh, statistical correct decisions and assumptions based on that. But I guarantee you the world of information and context you're going to get by just having 10 conversations is unbeatable. So in the early days when you do low volume or very targeted cold emails, you might want to implement cold calling as a strategy, not to sell necessarily, although that might be a strategy long term, but in the short term as a strategy to learn and improve your cold emails. All right, I'm curious to hear what you think about this. I'm curious to hear the results you're driving with this and what kind of other hacks you guys have used to improve your cold email outreach and to A-B test and to perfect the message and make it more relevant and make it more valuable to the people that are receiving those messages. Please comment here uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube or somewhere else. Please make sure to go to blog.close.io and subscribe to our blog. We're you know, launching two to three blog posts that are highly technical every single week. If you want to get in touch and talk sales in any way, shape, form possible, send me an email at stelly at close.io or ping me on Twitter at stelly. I'm looking forward to hear from you and to reply. Go get them.